Well, hello boys and girls. It's the second video of Saturday, post nap and spanking. Yes, I had to, I had to receive a circle spanking today for um, my, my uh, how do I say this? Just bad picks for yesterday. I suppose they were bad. They went totally against logic, but results are what matters, right? Oh, you're probably wondering who I am. I don't know why you would be. Anybody who doesn't know who I am by now, um, my name is Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. Um, yes, the next thing you're going to ask is, why is this freak doing it in a bathroom? Well, because I uh, live in a small house uh, with a lot of people here. I had a little bit of a uh, change had to had to downsize and do a whole bunch of shit about eight months ago basically because I was an addict and stop doing that working my way out of it and you know what people are doing check this out they're hitting the subscribe and the bell and we are all becoming YouTube sensations that's what we're gonna do we are going to go I'm gonna come to your town we're gonna get limos and we're gonna drive around your city throwing pearls of wisdom out the window just Feel like I've I've did this before, but I'll do it for you. Here, feel that. Isn't that beautiful? It's lovely. Yeah, we're gonna do that all over your city and town, and we're gonna go to your we're gonna go to games together, and we're gonna do it there. We're we're gonna spread so much frolic and glee in this world, and all you gotta do is subscribe. That's it. Pretty simple thing. Just hit the button. That's it. Okay, you can go look at my yesterday's videos. Um. Uh, the, actually, the to look yeah, look at several of them. They'll give you a laugh. Uh, yesterday's was really not that great. I was only got one right. It's the first time that's happened all year. It's, I think out of the whole year so far, there's only been three days where I've, I've been under fifty percent of my picks. Um, I don't even know if my overs were well great last night yesterday too. I can't remember. But okay, Mr. Wilkerson's waiting. He's one of our regular commenters. And if you do comment down there, I'll send you a Mine HL Pearls of Wisdom necklace and a vat of Jaime's Body Lube. So, oh, I didn't even get into the Jaime's Body Lube sometime. But anyways, I'll send you a My NHL Pearls of Wisdom necklace signed by me and helicopter to your door. Uh, okay, let's go Leafs versus the Penguins. I put this right up here. They're both on back-to-backs. Uh, Leafs lost to the Bruins yesterday, and the Penguins lost to, I can't remember who it was, oh, New Jersey, which never should have happened. Uh, they're both having their back up, Jari versus Kaskasuo, who is a rookie. Now, the thing about rookies, he's first of all, he's been doing very well in the AHL. Um, the thing about rookies is they can go either way. Uh, if you look at Colorado, they had Werner in, stopped 40 shots. Got a shutout his first game. It's like, I don't know, when I used to play for up up on a new level when I played hockey, it's like the first two games, you're not thinking. You just play, and you're enjoying things so much. If we could stay that way through our whole life, we'd have so much success, which is actually what I'm doing now. But that moment, the first game, quite often, Goalies will just stop everything. And they won't even know. Like it'll be like a blur as to how it happened. And then other times they freak right out and they're in a mat. And the next game, Werner let in like, I don't know, seven goals in the first 10 minutes or something like that. It's like he woke up and went, holy shit, I'm in the NHL. <laughs> and it all depends on if Coca Koskasuo is going to do that or the other thing. And I'm not sure. Jari has a little been in the league a little longer. He's a solid backup. Um, uh, they're at home. Leafs are hurt again. They have Kerfoot out. They, uh, I think there was another th another player. More. They are hurt all the shit. The Flyers are hurt quite a bit without Crosby, but or Penguins, I should say. This smells like over is what I'm trying to say for sure. Uh, the team I'm picking is Penguins five three. Not sure I would bet. Yeah, I think I would bet that. What the heck? I definitely would bet the over. Uh, Ducks versus the Blues. Blues lost to Columbus last night. My gosh. That, it was totally illogical that they lost that game. And now they're coming up against the Ducks. The only thing is, oh no, it wasn't illogical. That's right. This is the one that screwed me. They put Allen in net at the last second. 
And I have said here before, if Allen's in net, don't bet the Blues. Because um, last time I said that, actually, Allen won a game. But uh, so, and I, I feel, I again, I'm not, I, uh, Alan, I'm sure you're a great guy. And uh, I, I, I hope you, whatever you've been struggling at, because he's got talent. You have talent. I know you're watching. You do have talent. I'm telling you this right now, sir. You have talent. Believe in yourself, my friend. Believe in yourself. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching, by the way, as well. Um, but anyways, Bennington's in net tonight against Gibson and the Ducks. This has got a low-scoring game all over. Under, 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 under. Um, the problem is Blues are in a back-to-back. I'm not betting this game. Ducks have been playing poorly. <sighs> Blues 2-1. Blues 2-1. Hawks versus the Preds. Hawks have been playing fantastic. Crawford is in net, has been play, has been picking it up as of late, playing a lot better. Um, Preds playing Rene. Goaltending has been their issue. Uh, this is the this is uh, Rene does play well, but when he shits the bed, he totally shits the bed. And it's happening more and more often. Um, I'm taking the Preds 4-2, and I'm not sure why. Just because they've got a lot of depth, but the Hawks could easily win this game as well. Uh, Abs versus the Canucks. Canucks are again. If I would have known with the Canucks the last game that Sutter was out and uh, there's another player out, but I can't remember. Again, I didn't do my due diligence and go find out who that was. Sorry, but Sutter being out, they were not strong up the middle to begin with. Um, I'm taking the Avs 3-2 here. They've been, like, even when they lose, they're always crushing it, crushing it, crushing it. Bednar is a fantastic coach. And McKinnon, my gosh, he's taking it up a notch this year, even compared to last year. He's just nuts. Um, awesome guy to watch. Uh, I'd love to see the Canucks win this game. I really would. Uh, but I think the Avs will win it 3-2. Um, Wings versus the Sharks. Um, Wings lost against the Kings, and that's disturbing because the Kings are a slow team. A team like the Wings should win that game. They lost 3-2. It was close. Um, I believe it was on a back-to-back. -back, right? Oh, yeah, Bernie was in net. That was the other one. If I would have known Bernie was in net, I wouldn't have bet that game. So there's two I wouldn't have bet. The whole goaltending situation. I'll tell you this. This is my suggestion to you. If you're betting wins and the coaches are going to keep on doing this where they don't do their goaltender at till the to the last second, do not bet that game. Show them. You show we'll show them. Then they'll I'll tell you. And Mr. Bettman is also, of course, watching. One of our one of our original listeners, Mr. Bettman. Um if you could have a stern conversation with these coaches to make sure that they um, have their goaltenders uh, picks out at least four hours before game time, that would be great. Thank you. I love the way you listen, Mr. Bettman, too. I, you know, I love the way you take in the information and bring it forth the way you do. You're a fine man, sir. Uh, anyways... Because of everything I said, and I said Kane is a freaking beast this year. I'll keep on doing it. I'll keep on doing it because I he's a like he's one of the best in the land right now. He's fantastic. I'm taking the Sharks five two, five two. So that would be an over for Mr. Wilkerson Wilkinson out there in uh, comments land. That's my full forty two percent, boys and girls. That's all I have to give. Um, that's it. Have a great day. Lots of love to you.